Hey, what's up? This is Ryan and the Voice, and I'm back. And I just wanted to talk about this whole Beyonce CMA Awards controversy. So basically, uh, last night, Beyonce performed at the Country Music Awards. Um, people are pissed off. And I'm not going to sit here and pretend that I don't understand why. Um, even for me, I'm just going to put it out there. Whenever I see a show like the Black Entertainment Television Awards, the BET Awards, and I see white artists perform, I get in my feelings and I feel some type of way. Not necessarily white artists, but artists that are not R&B artists or hip-hop artists. So when you throw these people on stage like Justin Bieber, who is not an R&B artist, he's a pop singer who has songs that may be infused with R&B, or you have Iggy Azalea, who's performed at the BET Awards, who's, in pop, who's a pop artist. You know, I just feel like you, you're taken away from black artists or artists who really sing R&B. These are called the Black Entertainment Television Awards, the BET Awards, so I expect to see black entertainment. So, you know, I think if it was one of these award shows like the Grammys or the American Music Awards, the MTV, MTV Awards, where there are different genres that are being celebrated, I think that's one thing. But when you have these titles, sometimes people tend to go with these titles. So when you have the Country Music Awards, you expect to hear country music. When you have the Black Entertainment Television Awards, you expect to see black people. When you have the Hip Hop uh, awards. You expect to hear hip hop. So I can un I can completely understand how these country music fans were a little bit pissed off because you have this you know this black girl who has a country song I guess Daddy Lessons and I guess if you want to say If I Were a Boy was a country song and then all of a sudden she's on stage with these legends Dixie Chick. Now the real gang out of all of this I, I, I really call it Kiki was, to me, you got Beyonce, this black bitch, and these white folks' territory, and she introducing the Dixie, she introducing the Dixie Chicks like they her fucking background singles. <laughs> the Dixie Chicks are really legendary, especially within the country community. So the simple fact that the Dixie, Dixie Chicks were basically background to Beyonce was really the gag of it all. Um, I, I, I thought the performance was cute. Um, but again, like I said, I can completely understand how these country music lovers could be or can be or are, are pissed off. Because like I said, I'm a little bit irritated when I watch these BT Awards and you know I, I see these people who are not necessarily... R&B, are black. Um, just take away, just even take away the color. Just take away, take color out of it, and just add that these are not a genre of music that's usually celebrated within like country. So if you could have someone like what's that? What's that black man's name? Darius McRae. He's a country artist. Okay, put him on stage. You know. Uh, you get get the, get get at the BET Awards, bitch. Put Jill Scott, put Monica, put these artists who you know may not have a big platform, and they actually depend on these shows. So you may have an up and coming, you know, country artist or someone who's you know is right there at that that you know they're trying to get it. They're like they have that hot song out, but they're not a superstar. That could be a platform that they could use at the Country Music Awards to even get their name out there. You know, uh, so when you put somebody like Beyonce on stage, it's kind of like, damn, you're taking away from the people who really could be on this stage. And that's how I feel about the BET Awards when they throw like Justin Bieber or Iggy Azalea. Damn, you could have put a real R&B artist on stage, you know, to at least give them the exposure. Because at the end of the day, you know, especially with, I'm kind of ranting right now, but especially with black people, black artists, if you don't get the if you don't get the the exposure on BET at the Black Entertainment Television Awards, they're like the, unless you're like a Beyonce or Rihanna, you can perform at any award show. But if you're like a Jasmine Sullivan or like a Jill Scott or a Fantasia, 
You're not going to be performing at the goddamn MTV Music Awards. You're probably not going to be performing at the goddamn AMAs or the Grammys. So the only place that the, that the Jasmine Sullivans and the Jill Scotts and the Lettuces, the only places they are going to perform are at the Soul Train Awards or at the BET Awards if they're giving a, a tribute to somebody. So I look at things like that. But anyways, let me get off my soapbox. Um, I think that's all I have to say. Uh, everybody's in their feelings. I can completely understand why. Um, and that's just what it is.